What's up y'all, Billy from Perma Pastures Farm. See that hanging off the rails out here on this porch? Yeah, don't get excited all you Hooter bandits. I know you like to hang your stuff upside down. I guess it makes the THC a little bit stronger. Don't get excited because that is comfrey and it's turning itself into comfrey hay. And before it's all said and done, it's probably gonna be covering most of the porch you see up here right now. But. It's a really, really awesome and simple way to be able to look at your an or look after your animals through the winter. I'm gonna show you how we do it. You see this here? This is comfrey. Yeah, there's a lot of it like it, but this one is mine. Okay, we're getting in the fall and um, it's getting to that time to where we're gonna take some of this stuff and we're gonna put it back. And all I need really is my handy dandy rice knife and some comfrey that's been grown. Now, why on earth do I need to make hay out of this stuff? Or why do you feel like you should? Or why do I feel like I should? One of my biggest frustrations in the preparedness groups out there, and anybody that's been in this space for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You got those people out there that have plenty of bullets, but they don't have no beans. You got those other people that got the beans, but ain't got no bullets. And... You also have that other group out there that's thinking, okay, if something jumps off, well, I'll just go hunting. Yeah, there's a reason why they don't call it killing. And, and I always hear from people that have never been hunting in their lives. Look, I'm making a point here. The point in a roundabout kind of way is, okay, so I know that we're in weird times. Everything's on shaky ground. You got tons of former YouTubers out there that used to be into homesteading, but are now you know, fear mongers or in, you know, stuff like that. They tell you about all the things going on in this world, but they don't give you solutions. Take note, I will never give you a problem to which I have not provided at least one or more solutions. So what does that have anything to do with comfort? Well, for years now, we've been basically taking this humble plant, which bioaccumulates all of the wonderful things that are down in this soil, deposits it into these leaves, we take this and we feed it to our animals during the winter. And the whole reason why we do it is just in case. Okay, so you may have food put back for yourself. You may have some put back for your family. You may have all the beans and bullets and medicine and stuff you need, but have you thought about what your animals might need? Folks, that's one of the many reasons why we grow this magnificent plant is because it does bioaccumulate all the minerals that are down in there. And because it puts it in the, in the leaves, we're like, okay, how do we go about doing this stuff in the months where this stuff isn't vegetative? So just like everything else, you can make hay out of it. And I'm going to show you exactly how we do it. So i got a handful of it up here, but we got a ton more on the porch. We'll show you how we get there. This isn't going to be a long video, y'all. This is more of an instructional thing. And to a certain extent, you could even call it a public service announcement. Because everybody puts back things for themselves. Well, I, I can't say everybody. Like I said, those people in the preparedness that are very myopic and only see one dimensional, uh, only have one dimensional thinking of this is really always been a lifelong irritation for me. But look, let's say the worst should happen. You can't go to the store. You can't buy what you need. You can't get all the niceties that we love in the United States of amnesia. Well, this is exactly why we do this sort of thing. Because let's say you can't get all those store-bought minerals and the things you need. This may be your only means to keep your animals healthy. Plus, it's a really cool thing. This is why we can't grow enough of this. This is why we sell it. This is why we do exactly what we do. It's literally quite this simple. You see the sun's coming down. And as it gets lower in the sky this time of year, you know, it's only going to work out better. We lay it on the porch. Nothing fancy. I mean, if you can lay it out single file, that's fine. But if you give it enough time, it really doesn't make a difference. And because of the tacky surface on the back of a lot of this comfrey, even when the wind's blowing pretty good, this stuff really doesn't fly. Now, it's going to graduate from this into doing my little backwards moonwalk here. You see that? Yeah. It's going to graduate. This is like almost there, okay? It's going to get to the point where it's going to dry out enough where we can literally bundle this stuff up, hang it from here. We could even start that way if we wanted, but it just makes more sense after having done this for so long and for so many years, we basically let it dry out, 
hang it from here. And then throughout the winter, we basically take it off. I mean, this stuff will be hanging all over the place before it's all said and done. So it graduates from this into the bundles you see right here. And they are literally, I mean, it's just some hemp twine. Yeah, going right back to you Hooter Bandits. Yeah, that's what we use the hemp for. Plus, I do take a um, hemp extract every single day. But anyway, we now literally take this, we throw it over to the sheep, over to the pigs, over to the chickens, whatever you may have. Look, folks, we're not fusing DNA here. This stuff is not that difficult. You can see some laying out right here. And yeah, things are in a little bit of disarray right now, but that's just the nature of how it goes down. Look, you hear so many people do videos and talk about all the things you need for your family, but are those animals out in the field part of what you need for your family? <laughs> I dare say they are. So like I said, the idea isn't to make, uh-oh, got to take a slight pause. So the idea isn't just to grow the things that are great for me or that feed me directly like these little tomatoes I'm about to consume as soon as I'm done filming here. It's not just stuff like this or the red ones down there or the orange ones over there. It's not just that. We're missing the boat, a lot of us, on what it takes to keep our animals that are out in those fields healthy with all the necessary minerals they got to have to be able to be healthy. So if the worst should happen, this is why, this is exactly why we do what we do. And we've been doing it for years. And once again, this is the Homestead Honeys idea and uh we'll be doing this the whole time this stuff is vegetative so if you need any of that comfrey i'm talking about look we still got some for sale we're getting to the point where it's we're not going to have any before long go check us out at the website if you need bone sauce world's best deer repellent or even that rice knife i was using to cut this stuff go check us out at the website you'll be glad you did all right hopefully this was a blessing to you until next time this is billy from permapastures farm or permaculture is my passion and believe me this is part of it you gotta love that permaculture preparedness